What's poppin' balls, gang? Welcome back to CEO Prince Reactions. Hey, look, y'all, we about to get into um, Pretty Boy Fredo getting exposed again, this time by somebody in his crew. You feel what I'm saying? You know, this is yeah, this some snake shit, but it was trending when I woke up this morning. I'm like, oh, yeah, let me get right to my reaction mode today because guess what, man? I am back, and like I told y'all before, I'm not going to miss a day. You feel what I'm saying? Tom yesterday, I almost missed. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I dropped two videos. I almost made yesterday, but I'm like, nah, we're not doing that. I got to drop something. So today, you feel what I'm saying? I'm going to try to get y'all as many reactions as I can. So please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like and make sure you leave a comment on what videos you want me to react to. All right, so let's get into this one. Um, CEO Mikey Surviving Pretty Boy Fredo Part 1. Let's get right into this, man. This is crazy. If you know, like I know, you feel what I'm saying? Pretty Boy Fredo is known for the fake videos. I already go back on my videos, dog. Like, I did a reaction to one of his videos, kind of find out it was fake. So, damn. Hey, before I you start this saying? video, I just want to clarify some things. One, this is between me and Fredo. Fredo, Fredo, listen to me, bitch. Listen to me, bitch. This is between me and you. The same Malik, the this ain't Jabari, the same Ken, the same Keith, the same Dan, the same. This is between me and you. Your time has come. You, I've, 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 I've been with you for the past seven months, and I can honestly say, Fredo, you, you go on social media and you talk about how. Oh, I'm changing these people's lives. I'm making their lives better. I'm well, doing better do for them. I'm putting it. money in their pocket. This and that. By the bang, by the boom. My nigga, stop the cap. Ever since you moved to New York, you've made my life a living hell. You've made me do things that I wasn't comfortable doing. You've made you you. Hey, I ain't gonna lie though. It comes a point where people gotta start taking in their own responsibilities and. Actions, you know what I'm saying, bro. You was a grown behind man, bro. Talk about what another man made you do. You sound like a whole yeah. lied on my name countless times. You made you've made so much money off of me that I so haven't right. seen a dime of. I haven't seen a dime. All these videos with Fredo, like, oh, winner gets 60k, winner gets 100k, winner gets 80k. That's all cap. That is really all cap. Look, I can literally go on my phone right now. I will go on my phone and I will drop all the videos that I've been in and I will tell you how the videos were fake and how they're fake. And I can tell you about the other videos, how they were fake. So I'm going to stop my screen recording right now and we're going to go down the list. I Fredo moved to New York about eight months ago, right? He moved about eight months ago, right? That seems about right, right? The first ever video that I was ever in was... Was was DMing a hundred Instagram models to see who reply. Yeah. That video was fake. First off, Darian and Fredo already had girls pre-planned to DM to have the response. And mind you, this is my first time ever in an SH video, so I still think that these videos are somewhat real, and you actually get something out of these videos. Correct? No. So they so 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 they already planned who to DM. So it was guaranteed that I would lose a challenge and I would have to give my nipples pills. Now, when Fredo told me, oh, bro, you is a grown behind man, bro. I ain't gonna lie. How you gonna say you ain't see a dime when he did all the pain ones? But when you lose a, a um a game on YouTube, you gotta get your nipples pills. But he ain't paying the money when y'all got like y'all be. Yo, y'all do anything for fame, bro. Oh, you lost the challenge, so your punishment is you got to get your nipples pilled. I wasn't I wasn't down to do it at all. I told him, no, I don't feel comfortable doing that shit. Now, I, I'll do shit like that. I don't care now because I'm used to it. But before, I was used to it. So this man lied to me, and he told me, oh, I'll give you $1,000 for each nipple you pierce. I never received that money. I swear to God all my life, I never. You know yeah. me, I'm not. I'm not the one to lie about shit like this. I never received the money for none of those videos. That's the first video. Second video I was a part of. A hundred thousand exchange challenge loser gets kicked out of SSH. My nigga, this video is fake on so many levels. First off, all the challenges was already predetermined who would win the challenge. And it was determined that I would win the whole thing because it because it makes it makes it more believable that I would choose to kick Keith out of SSH because I just got SSH. 
That video was fake. I never received sixty thousand dollars. I never received nothing. I didn't win nothing. Bro, it sounds like a bunch issue, of hate bro. from a bunch of thirteen-year-old kids because they believe because they believe that that shit was real. But I, I'm gonna tell you right now, kids, the shit was fake. That's the second fake video. Third video, crashing around them online college classes. That that was probably the realest video he made in the past six months. I ain't gonna cap. One who went against fans for the Jordan D.O. ones. He took those D.O. ones back. I swear to God on my life. He gave those kids the, the, the D.O. one and he asked for it back and he sold the D.O. one and he got his money back. He never gave a kid no D.O. ones. Cat. That's crazy. Last and screaming with $100,000. Cat. Sitting my foot on a blind day with a man. Cat. You know what this nigga did? This nigga intentionally got me high so when the tranny would pull up, I wouldn't notice that it was actually a nigga because I know who that is. I'm not a fucking idiot. I know who the fuck these niggas are. Correct? No, so, bro, you are you grown, though, bro. You the one that did the drugs. You the one decided to do the video. So. You supposed to have been on 10 toes, boy. By the time the bitch got there, I wasn't high no more. I had smoked, I had faced a whole blunt. This is before I started smoking. I just not started smoking, so I couldn't control my high. So I was high as fuck, but I still knew that the training was a fucking nigga. So when we got to American Dream, I told her, I said, yo, I know that's a nigga. I'm not tripping. I'll still do the video, but that's crazy that you try to get me like that. I still did the video knowing it was a nigga. The whole thing was stayed. I never liked no nigga. I never loved no nigga. I don't, like, I don't even love him. I don't even love a bitch. Why the fuck I love a nigga? Huh? The fuck? What that nigga just said? <laughs> hey, what that boy just said? Yo, oh, rewind, nigga. That was pause. Whoa, what is nigga? That's crazy that you try to think like that. I still did the video knowing it was a nigga. The whole thing was stayed. I never liked no nigga. I never loved no nigga. I don't like. I don't even love him. I don't even love a bitch. Why the fuck? That nigga said I don't even love a bitch. So why would I love a nigga? That's a perfect reason to love a nigga if you don't love females. Like, what you talking about, bro? I love a nigga, huh? The fuck? Smack the hell out of this nigga. You just destroying kids' PS4 in the hood, surprising with a PS5. That video is also fake. The PS5 that he gave me, it was a PS5 that I got for myself. And he was like, yo, let me use your PS5 for the video and be like, I gave it to you. You're going to gain mass subs. I'll put your YouTube in the description. This that. Nigga ain't do none of that shit. He ain't do none of that shit. He came to my house. He broke my TV. He made a mess. And my mom could vouch for this. I would dead ass give my mom on camera. My mom could vouch for this. He dead ass. He just made a mess. And he did. I had to clean everything up. Only thing he reimbursed me for was for the TV, respectfully. I moved my Lamborghini. To a Hellcat. Come on, the same nigga that rakes them in a Hellcat is the same nigga you've seen in the video today. That's also Cat. Um, I ain't gonna lie, bro. One thing about it, bro, if y'all were once friends, bro, and then you try, start trying to expose them, bro, that shows how fake you are, too, though, as a friend. Like, you were just as fake as he is, bro. Like, you were there with it. You was along with all of it. You agreed to all of it. Now, when things don't go your way, you want to come on the internet. You look lame, bro. We played Among Us in our life, Cap. I went to the home out the limit, get Cap. Cap. All this is Cap. All of this is Cap. All of this is Cap. Everything I've been in is Cap. But we're not even going to talk about Y'all know the, y'all, 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 y'all know the videos are fake. Everybody knows, everybody and their mothers know that the videos are fake. That's not what we're talking about now, but since Fredo want to get real personal, he want to get real critical, this and that, I'm digging deep in. I'm ex I'm letting everything out. I was going to let everything slide. I wasn't going to talk about it no more. All I, all I did, all I did was I, I, I text him. I text him. I was like, yo, I this and that, I this and that. I don't feel comfortable with the video. Can you drop the video? You know what's crazy? The nigga hit me up a week ago. He was like, yo, I know you don't want me to post this video, but I think we should post this video. It's going to blow you up more. And they're gonna see that you, you changed like that. And I told him straight up, no, I don't want to. I don't want that video posted. The shit is full. I don't want the shit posted. It's gonna have a bad image on me. It's gonna make me look bad for some shit for some shit that you actually did. Now let's get into the deep stuff. One, Fredo keeps talking about this scamming, this scamming, that scamming. That Fredo, you are the biggest scammer on the planet, Fredo. I swear to God, you guys know Yo, about that made in hype shit, made in hype. Uh, uh, this and that, where he was selling SSH hoodie and like 
NBA logo shirts and that. The nigga behind that website was Alfredo Villa. And you guys notice how y'all never got your SSA shorties, y'all never got none of y'all merch, the nigga ran away with $30,000. All that money went to Fredo. So Fredo took y'all hard earned money, he took y'all hard earned money, and he pocketed it, and he left that nigga with shit. To this day, I'm still getting DMs, where's my SSA shorties? Where's my SSA shorties? I need my SSA shorties. So all that shit was capped. So Fredo, so, and Fredo, and I remember, I remember Fredo telling me he made about thirty to forty thousand dollars off that shit. So he scammed you guys out of forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand dollars. But 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 let's not stop there. Like you said, Fredo, everything done comes to the light, right? So I'm bringing everything to the light, Fredo. Y'all yeah. know Fredo cheated on Jasmine. He cheats on everybody. His new girl, he's probably cheating. I'm gonna get to that too. His new girl, he's probably cheating on too. I'm, I'm gonna get to all of that. So, nasty, there was this girl. Oh. She lives in Connecticut. From time to time, Fatal would have her drive down to New York. You know where they would, you know, they would have sex. You know, all the, you know, I'm saying that's cool. Everybody likes. I love, I love having sex, but. Since you want to put all my, since, since you want to be this weirdo who does all this shit, I'm let everything out. Fredo, I, I'm, I'm going to sound like such a lame nigga for putting this shit out, but I don't give a damn, nigga. The truth is going to come to light because you are no guardian angel. The shit you've done, you should be in fucking prison for you, piece of shit. But let's not, let, let's not, let's Dude, not. That let's boy not, is mad. Let's, go, let, 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 let's get to it. So Fredo actually got this girl pregnant. Now I guess now I guess with Fredo, he has this deal with Jasmine that even though they're not together, they promise that they won't get anybody else pregnant, this and that, as a respect for them. Fredo got this girl from Connecticut pregnant. I swear to God on my dead cousin. I swear to God on my mother. I swear to God on my heartbeat. I swear on everything I love. This nigga made this bitch get an abortion. This nigga made this bitch get a whole That's abortion, crazy. bro. That's crazy. If it's true, that's crazy. Disgusting. Disgusting. You are a disgusting, man. You and you know it's crazy. I'm seeing his last video with his new girl. He's talking about oh, I don't believe in abortion. Listen, that's how that's what I knew the video was fake. Cause this dude literally made somebody get a, you know what's crazy? His new girlfriend, Jasmine, and her, they actually know each other. So this is the Super Bowl weekend when um I guess Crystal, she came to Florida and she seen that Fredo had bought Jasmine a new car. So, you know, she's jealous. You know, she's trying to figure out what's going on, ah, ah, this and that. So, she takes Fredo's phone and she called Jasmine when Fredo's not looking. Fredo finds out because Jasmine told uh, Fredo and he kicks, he, he kicks Crystal out. He makes, he, he, he makes a lead. After that, after that, he calls me, he tells me everything that happened between him and Crystal, and he was like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm not even gonna miss the bitch, her pussy was trash, she be fucking a lot, so I know her, her pussy was trash, this and that, this and that, and now this is your whole girlfriend, nigga, you wife the eater, you wife the eater, <laughs> and that's crazy, this should be taking me saying, oh, whatever you say, say you wife the YouTube eater. Video. I have my lawyers get a hold of it. I'm going to sue you. Fredo, that lawyer shit is nothing to me. Fredo, you got to realize something. When you be doing that lawyer shit, I'll be right there next to you. I know it's cat. You're not going to call no damn lawyers on me, nigga. Fuck you talking about boy. And even if you was, you know I don't care about that shit, nigga. You know I don't give a damn, nigga. You know I don't give a damn, nigga. So why are you even trying to? And you keep talking about stuff. Oh, I know you're laughing. I know where you live. Fredo, Fredo, I know where you live too, Fredo. Fredo, I swear to God, no, you live, Fredo. If you bring any harm to me or my family, I swear to God, Fredo, there's nothing on this planet that is going to stop me from kicking your teeth in. And you know you can't beat me in a fight. You know you can't. You know you can't. So don't even, don't even, don't, don't even try that shit with me, dog. Because you know you can't. You know you can't, nigga. I'm going to put everything out. If y'all know, just say I know. The main, it's not only made it hype, it was other websites that he promoted, like Hype. Hype is a scam. You niggas is stupid if you think Hype is legit. Hype is a fucking scam. Literally, I've seen it from my, I couldn't believe it either, but Hype is, is, is literally a scam. So, he scammed his fan, he, he scammed his fan for over $40,000. Made a girl get an abortion, fixed his videos, ruined people's lives, 
you you know you know it's crazy. You guys know that whole you you guys know that hotel that hotel video he did where there was rats and mice and crickets. This nigga went to a pet shop. He bought all those rats and everything, and he put it in the establishment to make the establishment look bad for his video. He didn't even clean up after crazy. the crickets are still there. He didn't even clean up. So now that business has a bad reputation because he decided to make a fake video. Fredo, I kid you not, Fredo. There's a lot. He messed up somebody. Bit. I'm gonna go watch that video. We're gonna react to that video, man. We're gonna react to that video, y'all. Dead ass. A lot of stuff I know about you, Fredo. And if you continue we're gonna react to me, that. Fredo, I'm letting everything. This is only this is only a tiny bit of what I know, Fredo. You know I know everything about you. I know everything about you, dog. Gee, this is I ain't gonna lie, this is why you can't bring people close to you too. So I'm gonna say one more time. Right the next time you speak on me, I'm letting everything out. This was a warning. I'm happy everything is a light. I'm happy everybody knows now. Niggas know I ain't gonna cap about nothing. I'm not making this shit up. Niggas know I ain't making this shit up. And I'm gonna come with the proof. The proofs are gonna be all on the video. This is all on you. We had a good thing going. You was like my brother, but you showed me you was just a fake ass nigga, and I don't fuck with you, nigga. And I swear to God, Fredo, I promise you that when I see you in public, I, this ain't no Wait, DDG. Uh, and Fredo, DDG, DDG doesn't know where you live. DDG doesn't know how you move. DDG doesn't know your phone number. He doesn't know where you live, Fredo. I don't care if it's a year from now, a month from now, a week from Wait, now. Hold on, I ain't even read. Let me start reading these messages real quick, y'all. I just want that McQueen nigga. The fuck is that image? Stop. I'm not really boxing idiot. Hold on. I don't oh, care wow. if it's a year from now, a month from now, a week from now. If I'm walking through New York and I see you, like I see you in the street. I'm slapping the shit out of you, dog. I owe you that much. You ruined my life. I owe you that much. I owe you that much. Stop saying you're putting money in niggas' pockets. You ain't putting no damn money in my fucking pockets, nigga. Every all the money I've made. I ain't gonna lie. I hope I hope this not all taught on the internet, bro. Cause this something you should have told bro to his face. No, it's for my <laughs> YouTube videos. You ain't never paid me for none of your videos. You ain't never paid me to be in your video. You ain't never paid me for none of your challenges. Stop capping. Stop lying. Stop. But that's all I have to say for now. Y'all can choose to believe me if you want to. I don't really care. I know the fatal fan dick suckers is gonna be like it's gonna be on his side. But the real niggas know. The real niggas been know about this. They been know about this shit. That's all I have to say for now. It's your boys. Hey, look, y'all, we about to react to something. Pretty boy freedom after this. So if you like this video, man, make sure you like. Make sure you leave a comment on what video you want me to react to. And make, you, and make sure you subscribe. And make sure you go cop some merch from the Prince Collection website. Link in the description. Thank you guys very much. We'll be back.